Good everyone, B Agent Dad here. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are feeling healthy and safe. Now, this question has been asked of me a number of times, and that is how does the new AMD Ryzen 5000 mobile processor compares to the Apple Silicon processor? As you can see, I've got two 13 inch computers right here, and on our left here is the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, and on our right, we have the Asus ROG Flow. X13. Now this one contains the Ryzen 9 5980HS processor. So we're going to just battle these two together and let's just cut to the chase. I'm going to put up the scores for the benchmarks here. They're not easy to do because the M1 is very limited. Even the Mac is normally very limited with benchmarks here. So I'm going to show you the three benchmarks I've managed to do which is Passmark, Citibench R23 and Geekbench 5. For single core tasks or single threaded tasks, they're pretty much both on par. Now as for the multi-core or multi-thread tasks, you pretty much find that the AMD Ryzen 5980HS process just walks over the M1 chip altogether. Now as for the integrated graphics, it's pretty much the same as well. So the AMD is doing way better than the M1 chip and this X13 has another secret weapon. It has a discrete graphics in this. So we haven't pulled its secret weapon out to even play with the graphics on this M1 chip. So if we do that, it's just gonna be bye-bye Apple there. Anyway, besides that, that hopefully gets that part of that. Now, if you actually ask me the question between which computer is better, I'll just do the quick comparison for you. So for myself, now, I, and before I give you a little bit of background, if you're joining me for the very first time, I have been over a decade Mac user, and it's only about the last four years when I actually switched over to a Windows-based computer. But I have quite a bit of knowledge in Mac, and I used Mac for a very long time. Now, I'm just gonna tell you straight up what I feel between these two computers. Now, I have done an in-depth review of the Flow X13, and I'll put, if you want to see that video, I'll put it in the link in the description below, and you will see this notification up here. So you can check that out after this if you wanted to. Now, let's straight first up, start off with the keyboard. Straight up, keyboard, it's gonna be the Flow X13. It's actually got a decent keyboard, has good keyboard travel. Now as for the MacBook Pro, well, it's better than, let's just say, here in Australia, I'm just gonna use the Australian slang of meh, and for the description for the keyboard for the MacBook Pro. It's better than the butterfly keys, but still, I don't really, it's still, it's got a little bit travel than before, but still, I don't really like typing on it as well. Now, as for the trackpad, I, still do like MacBook Pro trackpad. It has got a nice size, it's got a nice glide, but this is not bad at all. So it's not far behind. I will probably say this is a 10 out of 10, and this is probably a nine out of 10 if you wanted to ask me about the both trackpads now. As for speakers, it's hands down on the MacBook Pro, and if you've got the MacBook Air, it's the exact same as Pro thing as well. They're just far superior. The, the speakers on there, it's just better acoustics, better sound, better range, and also better sound quality as well. Now, as for the webcam, again, a MacBook Pro has a better, decent webcam compared to this Flow X13, only a 720p webcam on the Flow X13. Now, as for display-wise, and this is a bit of an interesting one here, I'm gonna have to give it to the X13. It does have, this one particular unit has a 4K. Now there is a full HD version of this and it can go up to 120 hertz as well for the refresh rate. So for that's great for gamers. Now this one, I really, you can play a few games, but I really wouldn't be playing. This is designed for games as well too. This is a gaming laptop. Now, discrete graphics, that's an easy win for, for Flow X13 as well. and. You can actually, now this also has this very special unique thing where you can actually plug an eGPU to this one here and it pretty much you can put a 3080 or a RTX 3070 pointer and it has, and it's pretty much doubles up as a docking station as well too. So that's absolutely fantastic. You actually can get that attachment. Whereas this one here, you're pretty much relying on your Thunderbolt eGPUs for that one there as well too. Now, but 
overall, this one has a discrete boot into it. This one does not uh, for the MacBook Pro. So graphics wise, it's an easy win for X13s. Now, as for the weight of these two, now I'm gonna have to say, Probably the MacBook Pro is only a little bit marginally, a little bit lighter. As for Bill Coley, for me, even though I know this is fully aluminium, I feel they're pretty much the same. They have a different feel to it. Uh, as for if you're thinking about professional, what it feels like, they're pretty much the same to me in a way. Uh, they just have different looks to it there. And that's pretty much about it. Now, there's also a nice little secret weapon that this Flow X13 has got. Uh, besides, it actually has a touchscreen. Now, this X13 also can do a two-in-one. Uh, you can't do that with the MacBook Pros. Uh, so you can actually has pen support as well. So you can actually draw and or do sketches as well on this. So that is pretty sweet here as well. Now, as for the battery life, it's gonna have to go with, of course, with the MacBook Pro. That has amazing battery life. The battery life on this is not as good, uh, but it does also run much higher, faster hardware as well, and also discrete graphics as well too. So definitely, battery life wise, MacBook Pro. And as for warranty wise, that's gonna be I would probably say nearly on par, but I would still go with the Aces because at least you can get on-site warranties for the Aces for their, uh, depending on the country, of course, whereas the Apple, there is no on-site. It doesn't really exist there for Apple. So that one for commercially wise, it's just annoying. Uh, I like having on-site warranties. I don't like going back to base. Uh, it wastes my time, wastes everyone's time as well too. So that's warranty there. Now, another thing is ports. Now, the, this MacBook Pro, it's only got two Thunderbolt ports and a headphone jack and that's about it i'm not very fancy because it has no good man on ports you're really pretty much carrying dongles or everywhere you go or adapters if you want to call it whereas the x13 now this is good that's for the ports for the flow x13 you've got two usb type c ports you've also got a usb type a port and you've got a full size hdmi port and of course the headphone jack as well so this one you'd be okay not to actually have to carry ports you know, adapters or dongles with you. That's fantastic. For me, that's a big winner, uh, especially if I don't have to carry dongles in a way. So definitely, what do you think about these two laptops? Which one would you prefer? Definitely, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Put a comment below on there. Now, if you find this video informative or enjoyed it, do smack that like button or even to support my channel, smack that like button, it does help me out. And of course, if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.